Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader as well as a medium here and I'm here to give some type of messages from beyond. Hopefully this does help and resonate for whomever this is meant for. Let's get into it here. So hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for subscribing. If you have not already, please consider it. Uh, I appreciate it. Absolutely. This person who passed away did have big plans, okay? Wanted to accomplish things. I feel it's college. And now they're frustrated and confused why they can't uh, do this. I feel it is a male energy that was attempting to go to college, or did go to college. Uh, but I feel that there was some kind of um, alcohol involved with their passing. An accident of some sort or what have you. Definitely a young person with the Six of Cups. That's the child, the, uh, the kid's card, I call it. For whomever this is meant for, they see that you are mourning here. I feel like they want to reach out and uh, tell you that you're that they're present, okay, that they're around you, but you're battling here, and they're trying their hardest to step forward and to communicate big time to you here to say that they are okay. Here is their message, basically. I literally feel like it wasn't supposed to happen. I didn't expect this to happen. This came, this was really odd to me. I don't know why I passed away kind of energy. I'm frustrated because I had a long promising career here. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my actions, for, for you know, not taking responsibility. I just thought I was going to get away with it here. You know, I thought everything was going to be cool. There was some kind of messed up accident I'm feeling. The dad is uh, the dad of this son is kind of staying kind of somewhat quiet, reserved with his thoughts, with his emotions, with his speak, with you know his voice. Whereas the mom is more manifesting uh, for him to heal, for him to be okay, kind of thing. I do feel that the son does turn to the mother more than the father. Not that there's any, you know, but I feel that the dad also misses him as well. I feel that the the mom has a stronger connection right now cuz she's more open to the idea of the afterlife of picking up on his energy. So this message could definitely be for you. Whereas the dad it's kind of like I'm going to get to him too. I just want to work on my mom, you know, right now. But he will get to the dad with some kind of messages, clarification that he is around to show him. This is going to take place in the home. I feel the dad kind of had a, a sick feeling, like an, an intuition, you know, a gut feeling that something wrong was going to happen here. There was a police report. I do feel that as well with the Wheel of Fortune and the justice. Justice is law. Right. I heard uh, there was talk about it in regards to a lawsuit here, but I feel that I literally heard a male energy, which is the father's voice I'm feeling, saying it wouldn't matter, it wouldn't bring him back. So, I don't really feel you're going to follow through with it, uh, but I do feel that with that conversation that I just purposely heard, I literally heard that, so I feel that it's just going to be talked about, but nothing's going to be done about it. Yeah, it was definitely a car accident. I feel alcohol was involved in this. That's interesting. I'm going to pull from another deck because this is, this is interesting. I feel when he knew that he was passing, passing over, 
he was kind of in a state of shock. And I feel that... I don't feel like he was on the phone with her. I feel that he was talking to his mother either verbally. She was not there. But uh, either verbally or telepathically in his mind as to say help. And I feel that that mother picked it up. So both are a little touch of intuition here. Nice. I don't feel that he was ready to go just yet. I feel that he was really young. Very, very young. If he had to do it all over again, he wouldn't. He wishes that he was more respond or acted more responsible. He's a responsible kid. He just didn't responsible. He wasn't responsible at that time. And he's kicking himself here. There's definitely struggle on the home front, I feel. It's like, where do I pick things up? Where do I pick things up in my life again and continue to live my life again? How do I find my happiness again in my home? Home's a little dishuffled here. There's upcoming decisions between the two of you here. You two really need to talk about things for sure, okay? To have a clear understanding of that you both are in mourning. That you both understand the situation. That you both need to talk to each other for each other's strength. Okay? And that's what I just said strength. And here's the strength card. How freaky is that? So, but yeah, that even creeps me out. <laughs> what happens? Uh, but yeah. Wow. He is late to rest. He, uh, he is apologizing for his actions. Okay? He should have waited it out. Uh, he's not really getting too, too into detail. Sometimes they don't want to talk about it because it's like basically reliving, you know, something tragic here. He does love you both for sure. He does visit more so at night, I'm feeling. The dad does feel his energy, but... Um, um, he won't he won't acknowledge him because it's going to be either in a public place or his wife is around him. But there's somebody present when he does feel his the son's energy here. So he waits until he's in his uh, own little private spot, you know, wherever that may be. OK, before he acknowledges him, which is kind of cute. So he knows he knows. Mom's a little angry and rightfully so. I get that. Uh, that this had to take place here. But you're going to pull through it. Talk to him. He wants you to talk to him for sure. Wow, you got three pages right in a row. Wow, that's a lot. I do feel that you two will reunite. The mom and the... and the, Well, you all will. But the mom and the, uh, the son here will. <laughs> Just to let you know that he's, I don't know, there might be a, a significance, yeah, there might be a significance to be a beard. Now, story time, because that's what they show me, but <laughs> when my when my brother-in-law, he passed away when, when he was 25, it was probably about, gosh, Derek, my, my oldest, he was, he's 27 now. So, and I was pregnant with him for like, I was five months pregnant, six months pregnant with him. So you're talking like a good 27 years ago, if not more. Uh, and they always used to tease, his name was Bobby. He always, they always used to tease Bobby because he could not grow facial hair to save his life, right? Uh, and and there was just an ongoing teasing about it. So, it, I okay, so what this tells me is that he's going to look different. He's going to have a beard when by the time you get over there. So, there can be, there can be some kind of uh, significance here with that. Yes, you will be um, reunited here for sure. Everything will work out in the end. I do feel eventually that there's going to be a small. I don't feel it's going to be big compensation with this lawsuit. You do are going to go through with it, but I feel initially. Now, in the state of Pennsylvania, uh, as of like years ago, 20-some years ago, there was a two-year uh, limit statute. Statu you know that word. 
<laughs> big words I can't say. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, but definitely, you know, don't wait too long, you know, kind of thing is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, you do you, you do what you feel is best. But I feel that it is talked about initially, but kind of thrown out the window because it's not going to bring them back. And then I feel that there is later, you know, some following through with some kind of law, I feel. Uh, but you're still going to miss them, you know. But I do feel that there's going to be a small amount of um, money coming in for you guys. I feel it's the dad, but I feel that somebody is looking out like a, they're picturing this big bay window. I had one in my rancher. You could have a rancher for me to say that uh, type of home. Uh, but I had we had two big bay bay windows, one in the different dining room hello and one in the living room uh and they were right next to each other obviously because it was a rancher but um and I feel that somebody's standing looking out this big bay window at the stars at the sky so I feel like you're gonna see some kind of figure you know how you look at the clouds and you're like oh look it's a sailboat you know it's like one of those you know I feel that it's those more related to stars. Either you're going to, star's going to kind of see it blink or uh, it's going to shooting star or some kind of significance to the star in the sky. But that's him expressing his love for you. And I feel it's the dad that's going to be receiving that message. It could be both, okay? But I just feel it's the dad. So that is what I have for whomever this is meant for. Interesting messages as always. I hope that this helped, guys. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe as well. Smash that like button. It certainly does help out my channel. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.